Hi there, Girl Scouts. This is Mrs. Lori, your virtual program coordinator. And I'm here today um, to help you complete a uh, fun patch, um, the I Heart STEM fun patch. Uh, this is one of my personal favorites. And today we're gonna do a fun activity um, called, a, called an incline plane marble run. So um, if you've ever done something like this before, um, you may have seen um, like the plastic versions in stores that you can buy and build and put together. Um, this is one that we're gonna make homemade. And also instead of marbles today, I'm gonna be using bouncy balls. I find that they're a little bit lighter, um, so they're a little bit easier on the incline plane that we build. So, um, the I Heart STEM patch is all about doing some kind of fun STEM activity to earn your fun patch. Um, so it's all about participating in something STEM involved. Um, so this is something that we're gonna make with items that um, you probably have laying around your house. Um, I've already built mine. I'm very excited to share it with you. I've done a couple of run through practices and it's, it's really, really awesome. Um, so in order to build your own at home incline planes for you to run either a marble or a bouncy ball down, um, you'll need some common household items. So these are just suggestions. If you have other items laying around your house that you want to use, feel free to go for it. Be creative. Um, that's what STEM is all about, is about, you know, just building with the things that you have on hand, using your brain, using your critical thinking skills to problem solve and uh, make this ball or this marble run through your incline plane course. So here are some common household items that you may want to try to find. Um, old toilet paper, paper towel rolls, um, even old wrapping paper rolls. Um, and you can cut these in half um, so that way um, you have more of a track. If you cut the rolls in half, if you cut the cardboard in half, um, then it gives you more track to use. Um, or if you want an all enclosed track, you can leave the paper towel roll or the toilet paper roll um, just together as a closed um, um, I decided to make mine open so they look a little bit more like this. Um, I decided to cut and use as much of my cardboard rolls as I possibly could. Um, you may want to find some heavy-duty tape, um, building blocks. So if you don't have any building blocks, maybe a neighbor, maybe a younger sibling, try to find some building blocks. Not the tiny Legos. You'll want to use the bigger building blocks. Um, my son actually has the large building block, so I just borrowed his for this project. Um, other things that you can use, like pool noodles, um, come in really good handy, especially for the size of a small marble. Um, you can use paper towels, you can use um, baskets, anything that will stack up high. Um, but the point is to make it fun and um, to problem solve and to try and test it out. And if it doesn't work, then just pick it back up and keep rebuilding and keep trying again. That's what STEM is all about. Um, so I'm going to bring you over and show you my track now. Um, I am just going to... Um, Bring you on over here to see mine. So this is uh, my track here on the ground. Um, as you can see, what I did is I assembled um, some baskets here for height. Um, I used a wrapping paper roll here that I cut in half. Um, I've used the building blocks to help me stack and uh, make towers. And um, let's see if I can turn things around a little bit here so that way you can see the whole track in itself. So I used building blocks, I used tape, I've used baskets. Um, so just really, really awesome. And trust me, this did not come easy. I had to try it many, many different times before I actually got it to work. Um, so what I'm going to do is pan out to a whole picture view so that way you can see um, my bouncy ball run its full course. And um, like I said, in order for you to earn this patch, all you have to do is um, invent 
your own marble track run. Um, like I said, it was a lot of fun getting to build this. And I'm really excited um, to share the whole run with you. So here it goes. And then it pushes the little matchbox car at the end. So um, that was my marble track run. Like I said, I had a lot of fun building that. And um, it definitely took me a couple of trial runs, but it was a lot of fun. So Girl Scouts, I really encourage you um, to build one of your own today. Um, get some common household items that you have and um, just explore and have fun with STEM. Um, that's the ultimate goal is to have fun, build, and if it doesn't work, then just try it again. Um, I hope you had fun um, listening in and uh, watching my marble track run. Um, I hope that you have a lot of fun building yours. Um, definitely go online to our website, www dot gsvsc.org to um, order your um, fun patch, the I Heart STEM fun patch. Go on there and also to sign up to become a member um, or to renew your membership. If you're, if you're already a member and you need to renew um, while you're on there on the shop, go ahead and jump on there and join us um, so that you can get all of our fun program content, whether it's virtual or in person. Um, so we look, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Um, bye Girl Scouts.